Goeiedag, doe me lang, sani bonani, moweni, nda, gunjani. I hope you are doing well. Our first lesson in Afrikaans will be on verkleining. Klein in Afrikaans means small. So when we talk about things that are small, we use verklein woorde. Now in this video, we are going to look at a few examples of verkleining. And I don't want you to panic if you feel that you can't remember all of them at once. We will do each of them individually as the term moves along. So let's jump in with our first example. Verklein woorde all end in the I sound. That is I, E. And together they make the E sound. In our first example, we have a groot cat, a big cat. Big in Afrikaans means groot. But when we want to talk about a small cat or a kitten, we talk about a kaiki. The part of kaiki that makes it a verklein word is the J-I-E that we add to the end. Ye is one of the ways we change a word to the verkleining. But there are many other ways that we will look at in this video. Here is our next example. On the one side, we have a groot skoen. Skoen is the Afrikaans word for shoe. However, on the right, we have a small shoe, like the one a baby would wear. This is a skoenkie. And when we look at the part of skoenkie that makes it a verklein word, it is the T-J-I-E at the end. And this Chi sound makes skun a skunki. Like I said, there are many ways to change a word to verkleinen. In this example, we see a picture of a limousine, which is a big car, a groot car. But when I want to talk about the size of the little red car, I talk about a kariki. Which part of the word kariki shows me it is a verklein word? That's right. The E-T-J-I-E at the end of kar. See, all our examples will end in the I-E or E sound to show that we are talking about something small. So you may ask... How do I know when to use J-I-E or T-J-I-E or E-T-J-I-E? Well, that all depends on what your word ends in. Now, I don't want you to get your brain in a knot. We will look at each example individually so that you can understand in future videos and lessons. So here we have a groot firk like the one you would use in the garden. But I certainly would not use a garden fork to eat cake. For cake, I would use a furki. And if I look carefully at the word furki, the part that makes it a verklein word is the i or i-e sound at the end of the word. How do you feel so far? Now, in the case of biesem, a biesem is the Afrikaans word for broom. We have a groot biesem that you would use to sweep the house or the courtyard with. But if I want to clean up a small mess, I will use a biesem p. Where is the biesem p? Good job. Or in Afrikaans, we will say Mooi so. Now, if I look at the word BSMP, the P at the end makes it a verklein woord. We are almost finished now and our last example is about the sound key. When we talk about the cattle here, they have groot hoorings or big horns.
but the little buck at the bottom has small wirinkis or small horns. So I bet you are itching to practice your knowledge about verkleining, right? With this video, you will find a note that reminds you of the things we have learned about in this video. Keep it closely at hand as we work our way through verkleining. It will help you a lot. But you also have a worksheet. In verkleining, worksheet 1, you will have to find the verklein woorde in each of the sentences and underline them or color them in or highlight them and then some other activities. Remember to look for the words ending in IE and you will be tops. Tops means best in Afrikaans. I am looking forward to our next session which will be about the verklein woorde ending in JIE and TJIE. Keep safe, keep well and remember to wash those hands. Tot ziens!